Hello everybody, this is Amel with another coding interview preparation video for you and this time I'm going to show you this problem, palindrome permutation. So given a string, determine if a permutation of the string could form a palindrome. So they give you a string and can you rearrange it such that what you get is a palindrome? Remember that a palindrome is a string that is the same forward as it is backward. So for instance here, you have the string code you return false. But but here you have AAB, you return true because uh, you can rearrange it to make a palindrome. So you can say ABA. A. You can put a B here and the A at the end. That would be ABA a, and from back ABA. A. So how can you solve this problem? There are multiple ways to solve this problem, but I'm going to show you my favorite way to solve it, which is very efficient. So the main property of a palindrome is that at most one character can have odd count. So every character has to be even count in the string. It has to appear an even number of times. For instance here you see that A appears twice and B, but B only appears one time. So at most one character can appear an odd number of times. So if you pay attention to this observation, you realize that that if you check uh, this condition that at most one character appears an odd number of times, if that condition is valid, then then that's gonna uh, tell you if it is a permutation of a palindrome or not. So how can we do this? We can use several data structures. We can use a, a set or we can use an array put in, or a hash map. But in this case, I'm going to use a bit set. So a bit set is like a set, but it works at the level of bits. So it is more efficient. You can save a lot of space because you're dealing with the bits. So um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go through the string from left to right. Whenever I see a character, I'm going to um, flip it. So the position of that character is going to flip it. If I see it again, I flip it back. So by the end, um, it's like a, like a light switch. If you turn it on and turn it back off. So if it is a given number of times, the light switch is going to go back to off. So first it is off, but if you do, okay, you see an A, it's going to be on. You see another A, it's going to be off. So there should be only one that is on if it is a palindrome. And we can use a class in Java, the bit set class, to check that the cardinality is less than or equal to one. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the code. So first, if the reference is null, I can return false because this is no, this is not a permutation of a palindrome. Okay, so I'm gonna need a bit set BS gets a value of new bit set of 256. Um, this is the size because remember this is for extended ASCII. Uh, since I'm only dealing with characters uh, A to Z, I can use 256 positions. And then I go for char C in S that to char array. So I go from left to right. And whenever I see a character in the string, I just flip it in the set. So initially, the position for A is going to be off. It's going to be zero. When I see an A, it's going to be on. If I see another A, then it's going to be off again. So that tells me it is even. But the B, it will be on because it is it is odd. So by the end, if I find that there's only one or less than one that is on, then I know this is a palindrome permutation. So I'm going to say the set the flip C. And then just return is the cardinality less than or equal to 1. So this means 
there's at most one character with odd count. If that's true, if this is true, then that's going to be true. If that's false, then it's going to be false. So let me run the test. Compiling, accepted, false, expect the false. Now I'm going to submit. accepted okay so thank you for watching please like the video don't forget to subscribe and happy coding